First thing I'm going to do is get my clearance line. Make sure they're clean and busted and they're colored. I'm going to check my weed kill. I'll check my fender mirrors, make sure they're securely mounted, cling of debris, no cracks. I come back, I check my signal light, my four-way flasher, make sure they're functional, amber in color. My high and low beam headlights, make sure they're clinging and functional. I'll step back, look under my truck. Make sure I don't see no puddles indicating the leakage underneath my truck. I'm going to raise the hood. Go around the back of the side first. Okay, it's the Cummins engine. Before I miss it, I'm going to go ahead and say something about my windshield washer fluid. Make sure it's sure. Not leaking, accurate level. We'll come to the top, check all my hoses, make sure they're intact. No bulging, no cracks. Clamps are in place. We'll check my alternator, make sure it's securely mounted. Wires are intact, not loose. It is a belt driven alternator. Make sure there's no more than three quarter inch play in my belt. No cuts, no frays, no damage to my belt. Then I'm going to run my, Sorry. I'm going to take my water pump, make sure my water pump is sure. And as long as you say the water pump is sure, not leaking. I'm going to check the side of my engine block, I don't seem to be any cracks, no leakage or damage to the side of my engine block. <clears throat> On this side, since I'm looking at it coming out of my turbo, I'm going to check my exhaust. Make sure there's no cracks, no damage to my exhaust, no black soot, indicating carbon dioxide leak out. While I'm here, I'm going to check my frame. Make sure my frame is, is secure, no uh, holes, no cracks, no illegal welds. Going around the other side. Start from the top and come down. First thing I'm going to check over here will be my cooling. Make sure it's secure. It's at the accurate level, above the level mark. And it's not leaking. I'm going to check my oil. I pull my dipstick out, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it back out. Make sure it's at the full mark or above. You mean or below? Above. You want to be above the full mark, not below the full mark. On this side over here, I check my side of my engine block again, make sure I don't see no oil or grease or damage or cracks on the side of my engine block. Then I'm going to check my air compressor. It is a gear driven air compressor. Check all my lines coming out of my air compressor, my hoses all secure, not broken, missing, or leaking. Okay, I got that. Now I'm going to go to my Power steering fluid, I check it the same way. I pull the dipstick out, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it out. Make sure it's full or look at the sight glass to make sure it's accurate level. I check this hose coming out of it and make sure it's secure. Not leaking, no bulging, no cracks. I'm going to check my steering child. Make sure there's no excess play. I'm going to check the U-joint, make sure they're greased properly, not broken or missing. No damage to my U-joints right here. I'm going to check my steering gearbox. Make sure it's secure. Not broken and it's not leaking. Then I'm going to check all my linkage. <clears throat> I'm going to check all my linkage. I'm going to fade apart. Fit my arm drag link knuckle tie rod with the castle nut, the carter pins in place. All secure. Not broken or missing. Now I'm going to go back to my suspension. I'm going to check my spring mount which is right there, my springs, my U-bolts, chalk absorber, and my hanger. 
off the chili mounting, not broken or missing. It's not twisted, no shiny spots indicating looseness. And my shock is not leaking. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to my brakes. I'm gonna check my brake hose, my brake line, I'll make sure it's secure, not broken or missing or leaking. My brake chamber, make sure it's secure. No cracks or rusted through indicating any problem with my brake chamber. I'm gonna check my slack adjuster and my push rod. Make sure all hardware is intact with the carter pin. Not missing any parts on that, okay? This truck has a drum brake, so I'm gonna check my shoes. Make sure I got at least a quarter inch showing, not dangerously worn. I'm gonna check my drum, make sure it's not cracked or any damage to my drum. Don't see no oil or grease indicating a problem with my brake drum. <clears throat> I'm gonna come to this tire here. It's my front steer tire, evenly worn. No less than 430 seconds in thread depth. Check my inner wall and outer wall. Make sure there's no cuts, no bulging or cracks. Inner and outer. I check my air stem to make sure it's intact with the cap on it. Check my air pressure with the air pressure gauge. That's my TOP. We'll check my rim. Make sure there's no cracks, no illegal wells on my rim. I check all my lug nuts. Make sure they're all present. Tight, no rust streak, no shiny threads indicating looseness. I take the hub cap off and check my hub seal. Make sure it's sure and not leaking. Cut it off. Now I mean, first thing I'm gonna do is start from the top and come down. I'm gonna check my side glass, make sure it's clean and free, no cracks, no illegal stickers. I'm gonna check this mirror, make sure it's sure. Not broken, not cracked, no damage to my fin my door mirror. Whoa, I about forgot something. We we'll check this little light right here. This little light indicates a signal light, a four-way flasher, or a clearance light. Amber in color, mature and front functional. Got a screw missing. I'm gonna check my door handle, make sure it opens and closes properly. Make sure my hinges are intact, not broken or missing. I'm gonna check my rubber seal around this door. Make sure it's intact, not torn, broken, or missing. While I got my door open, while I got it all right here, I'm gonna check my grab handle. Did it hold my weight if I get in and out of my truck? Make sure not broken or missing. I'm gonna check my emergency equipment. Check my uh, BC-10 fire extinguisher. Uh, fully full, it's full. To sure not broken or missing with my three extra triangles, extra fuses, and breakers in the glove compartment. That's my emergency equipment. I'm going to come back out. This truck has death fluid on it. You don't have to say anything about it if you don't want to. But I check it, make sure it's full, and my cap's on. Not leaking. I check my steps. Make sure they're secure. Hold my weight until I get in and out of my truck. Go to the next section. Right here I check my side box, make sure it open and close it properly. Don't seem to be loose, check everything. I come back. Now I'm gonna go to the back of my truck. First thing I'm gonna check is my fuel tank cap. Make sure it's intact, rubber's in, chain's in it, make sure it's on tight. I check my straps around my tank, make sure they're secure, not broken or missing. Don't seem to be any shiny spots indicating looseness. And I check it and make sure it's not leaking. Coming out of the back of my cab, I got a grab handle here. I check it, make sure it's secure. Sorry. Not broken or missing. I'm gonna check my service line coming out of my cab. My emergency line and my electrical. Make sure they're all secure. Not leaking, not dragging on my catwalk. I'll go ahead and get this part done on my, I check my grab handle. Make sure they're intact with the seal in place. They're not leaking, torn, or broken, or missing. I check my electrical. Make sure it's plugged in and the safety locks down. We'll come here to my catwalk. Make sure it's secure, not broken, or missing. Right underneath my catwalk is my drive shaft. Check my drive shaft. Make sure it's secure. U-bolts are in place. 
Don't see no shiny marks indicating looseness, no foreign objects wrapped around my drive shaft. Okay, this truck here has the exhaust on the bottom. I check my exhaust back here, which I always had it up front, but I'm checking again. Make sure it's intact, not broken or missing, no black up indicating the problem with my exhaust. I check my frame again back here. Make sure it's intact, no cracks, no illegal wells. I check this step here as I'm getting up on my catwalk. Make sure I hold my weight. For sure, not broken or missing. <clears throat> then I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna work my cell phone inside and out, okay? First thing I'm gonna check, I don't wanna miss them, is my torque arm. Make sure my torque arms are in place, not broken or missing. I'm gonna check my brakes. I'm gonna check my brake hoses my lines for sure not broken missing or leaking <laughs> my brake chamber it's for sure no crack no illegal wells or holes or anything like that it's truly mounted my slack adjuster push rod all the hardware is in place with the carter pins in place not broken or missing i go to my shoes make sure i got at least a quarter inch showing Quarter inch showing, not dangerously worn. My drums, no crack, no illegal wells or anything damaged to my drum. That's just words I'm using, okay? I'm gonna check this blast guard. Make sure it's blast guard is secure, not broken or missing. I'm gonna go to my suspension. I'm gonna check my mounts, my springs, my U bolt, shock absorber, and my airbag and my hangers back there. Make sure all my suspension is securely mounted, not broken or missing. Uh, don't see no shiny switch indicating the looseness. My shock absorber's not leaking and my airbag's not leaking. How's that? Make it simple. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go to this set of tires right here. Evenly worn. No less than two thirty seconds on your back tires. I'm gonna check my inner wall, outer wall, inner wall, outer wall. Hey, brother. Are you sure you know what? I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn this thing. Okay. You like the blind leading the blind? Blind leading the blind. Uh -huh. Hey, thank you, man. Take care. I appreciate it. Y'all be good. All right. Inner wall, outer wall, inner wall, outer wall. Make sure there's no cuts, bulges, or cracks on this set of tires. I'm gonna check my bud spacers. Make sure they're butted up tight together. No cracks. No foreign objects wedged in between my tires. I'm gonna check my air stem on this tire with the cap, it's there somewhere. And the one on the inside, make sure there's air present. Check the pressure in both of them with the air pressure gauge. I'm gonna check this rim. Make sure there's no illegal wells, cracks, or damage to this rim. Check my lug nuts, make sure they're all present. They're all tight, no rust or shiny streaks. Shiny threads indicating looseness. I pop this hook cap off. Check my axle seal, make sure all bolts are intact, not broken or missing, and not leaking. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna do my fifth wheel. This is a sliding fifth wheel. So I'd make sure my locking pins are in place. I'll go ahead and get that part out of the way. It is a sliding fifth wheel. First thing I'm going to check is my mounting bolts on both sides to make sure they're secure, not broken or missing. I'm going to come up, I'm going to check my platform. Make sure my platform is secure, not cracked, broken or missing. I'm going to check my release arm, make sure my release arm is engaged with the safety latch down. I'm going to check my skid plate. I'm going to look at my skid plate, make sure it's properly greased. Make sure there's no gap between my skid plate and my apron. I look at my apron, make sure I don't see no crack, no damage to my apron. I check my can pin if it comes out of my apron, make sure it's straight, not bent, broken, no any damage to my, my can pin coming out. I check my locking jaw from back there, make sure my locking jaw is wrapped around my can pin properly. Everything's to church. Okay. We'll go right here. I'm going to check this mud flap. Make sure it's secure. Not dragging on the ground. Not broken or missing. And it has reflector tape on the back of my mud flap. Then I'm going to get down here. <clears throat> I'm going to check my brake light. My tail light. My running lights. My 
four-way flashers, my signal light, my reflectors, my backup light, all secure, clean and functional. And clearance light. Every time you say something about the light, make sure you say clearance light. At that time, I got all the truck done. Did I miss anything? So I'm going to come back to the front of my trailer. Now, that's how I do mine. Now, you don't have to do it. It's whatever how you want to do it, okay? Just don't miss nothing. First thing I'm going to do is look up. I'm going to check my clearance light. Clinging, functional, amber and color. I'm going to check my header board. Make sure all rivets are in place. No bulging, no cracks, no damage to the front of my header board. I'm going to look down my rail. Make sure my rail's straight. Don't seem to be any damage or anything to my rail. They call it a frame or rail, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people call it a rail. I call it a rail and some people call it a frame. I check this light right here, which is a clearance light. Make sure it's clean and functional. Since it's here, I make it. I look at this trailer up and down, all the way down. Make sure I see no damage to it. Don't seem to be any bulging or any cracks, any damage to this trailer. When I get it right here, I'm going to check my landing gear. Make sure my landing gear is raised all the way up properly. There's no uh, debris on my landing plate. Rock or any cane that could fly off, damage a car or a truck or anything. Make sure all cross members are in place, for sure, not broken or missing. Mounted properly. I check my crank arm. Make sure my crank arm works properly. It's locked in the cradle. It's just sure. I'm going to start looking down again. I'm going to look under here and check all my cross members and my trailer. Make sure there's no holes or damage to my trailer underneath. Cross members are in place, none of them missing. If it had a spare tire hanger, I'd say something about it, but it don't have one. I'm going to come to this little light right here. This one, this is a clearance light also. This one here is a signal light, clearance light, or four-way flasher, amber in color. Make sure it's clean and functional. Looking from the top down on my trailer as I go back, make sure everything's in proper level, make sure everything looks straight, no cracks. No damage to my trailer. Then I'm going to get right here. I'm going to look at my air lines. Make sure my air lines are raised up, framed up, not dragging on the ground. No damage to my air lines right here. So while I'm here, I'm going to check my sliding pins on my trailer. Make sure they're locked in place. One back under, one right here. Make sure my release arm is locked in place. Truly mounted, not broken or missing. All right. This is my third time on the brake, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to check my brake lines, my brake hoses, securely mounted, not broken, missing, or leaking. My brake chambers, securely mounted, not cracked, no damage, not rusty through. I'm going to check my slack adjuster and push rods. Make sure all hardware is intact with the carter pins in place, not broken or missing. I'm going to check my shoes, make sure my shoes, or at least a quarter inch showing, not dangerously worn. I'm going to check my drums on all wheels, make sure they're not cracked, no damage to them, no oil or grease indicating a problem with my brake. Now I'm going to do a set of tires here, evenly worn, no less than 230 seconds in thread depth, inner, outer, inner, outer wall, no cuts, no cracks, no damage to my tires. I check the stems, make sure they're in place with the cap on, check the air pressure with the air pressure gauge. I'm going to check this rim, make sure there's no illegal wells, no cracks, no damage to my rim, the inside and outside rim. I'm going to check my lug nuts, make sure they're all present, no rust, no shiny threads indicating looseness. This is a hub oil seal, make sure it's secured, not leaking. Oh, I forgot something. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to look at this trailer. This trailer is not an air ride. Let's see if it's got shocks on it. Okay, it don't have shocks. It's a spring load trailer. First thing I'm going to check is my torque arm. Make sure it's secure, not broken or missing. I'm going to check my spring mounts. Make sure they're secure. I'm going to check my springs. Make sure they're secure, not broken or missing. No shiny streaks indicating looseness. My U-bolts. Are secure, not broken or missing. 
And I check that hanger back there and make sure it's sure not broken or missing. That's my suspension. They take airbags off and they take shocks off because it don't have them. Come around here behind this car. I'm going to check that mud flap. Make sure that mud flap is sure. Not broken or missing. It's supposed to have reflector tape on it, but if it's on the DOT bumper, it does not have to be on this mud flap. This is not an ABS equipped trailer. This is a marker light. Make sure it's clean and functional. Come to the back of the trailer. Top down. I'm going to check my clearance light, clean and functional. On the back, they're red. On the front, they're amber. Anything coming at you is amber. Anything running from me is red. I'm going to check my brake light, my tail light, my running light, four way flashers, signal light, and tag light. All clean and functional. Check this door, make sure it opens and closes. <coughs> properly, just lock properly. Don't fall off, baby. <laughs> Make sure the hinges are all in place. Check this DOT bumper. Make sure we have reflector tape all the way across. And I step right here. I check the whole side of this truck same way I did that side. Did I miss this? No, sir. Reflector tape. There you go. That's how you learn it.